Hi, boys and girls. It's Mr. Wasserman, and today we begin our journey uh, into fourth grade mathematics with our everyday math series. I'm looking at my math journal page found on page two in our volume one math journal. Uh, this is lesson 1.1, so that means it's in unit one, lesson number one. So let's dive in and get started. Uh, we're going to be finding the values of digits now. Before we get started, I just want to remind you that the word digit uh, means uh, parts of a larger number. So, for example, when they say the digit 1, that represents the value of 1. Uh, but when 1 is in a larger number, that means that it's part of a whole. Uh, an easy way to think about this is words are made up of individual letters. You can have a word made from one letter, like the letter A, but most words uh, are composed of two or more letters to give you the full meaning of the idea that the word represents. The same is true with numbers. Each individual digit helps you understand the value of the number. So. Problem number one asks you to look at the number that has four digits, nine, zero, two, seven. What is the value of these digits in their place value positions? Now, it says use a place value tool to solve. Now, that sounds fancy. It's really not. What I have here is a place value chart, but if you just had a piece of paper that you could draw into columns, that would be useful, or if you had a place value chart in, say, your student reference book, that would be easy to use. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take the digits 9, 0, 2, and 7 and plot them out in this chart. And as soon as I do that, it shows me that the 9 in this number is in the thousands place value. So when it asks me what's the value of 9, well the answer is 9,000. Now I'm going to represent that this way. I'm going to write the 9 and then I'm going to look up here at this number and I see that there's one, two, three digits behind it. So to show place value I'm just going to write one, two, three zeros in those place values. Now, zero is a very useful number. I know people think zero just means nothing, but zero also is a placeholder. Okay, it holds position for other digits. So if I were to eliminate, say, these two zeros, 9,000 would only be worth nine tens or 90. But we don't want to eliminate those zeros because the nine in the number 9,027 is worth 9,000. So then we have the zero in 9,027. That is the equivalent of zero hundreds. And then the two is worth two tens because there's a place value alongside it. Two tens, otherwise known as 20. So this is how you would break down this number, 9,027, into the place value and uh, identify what the digits stand for. Let's take a look at problem number 3B. The value of 5 in this number here is blank times as large as the value of the 5 in the second number. Now I'm not saying them aloud because I want to use my place value tool to map things out a little bit so let's pick a different color. So that first number was a 5 and two zeros and the second number was a 5 with just one zero. So, as you can see, when the 5 lives in uh, this place value with two zeros behind it, 
the 5, the digit 5, is worth 5 groups of 100, or 500. The 5 in the second number here, 5, 0, that's 5 groups of 10, otherwise known as 50. So the question is, how much bigger or how much more is the 5 in 500 worth compared to uh, the 5 in 50? Well, we use what's called a base 10 number system. If you hold out uh, your hands, you can count there are 10 digits on your hand. You have uh, four fingers and a thumb on each hand. That means five digits. A finger is also called a digit, and it's not, uh, it's not surprising that uh, man, uh, human beings, learned how to count uh, way back when on our fingers. So when we talk about how much bigger uh, hundreds is compared to tens, well, it is ten times. It would take ten groups of fifty or ten groups of five tens to be the same as five hundred. So that's a very long, convoluted way of just saying that when there is an extra zero on a number, it is ten times as big. In other words, fifty times 10 is going to give you 500. When we get into large number multiplication a little bit later on in the year, place value is going to be very important for us to, uh, to uh, disseminate uh, the value of products. Let's take a look at one more problem together and then I want you to try the rest on your own. Number six says, write the number that has, and then it gives you some digits and some place values. Uh, this is kind of like a riddle. So it says, write the number that has three in the ten thousands place. So down here below, I have five uh, lines that represent five place values. Now if I go over here to the place value tool, I see that ten thousands is the uh, place value that is five uh, columns from the, the right. Okay, so that is my 10,000th place value. So the fifth uh, space from the right. Okay, so I'm going to put my three in the 10,000th place. I'm going to do it right here. It says put the four in the ones place. Well, the ones is all the way to the right, two in the thousands place. 6 in the hundreds place, and 0 in the remaining place. Well, that remaining place is the one that's left, and that's the tens. So now, when I read that number from left to right, it reads 32,604. And you'll see that I uh, highlighted that comma uh, in the number that I just read. That comma helps us organize uh, between groups of place values. So if you notice on the number chart right here, that three of the place values have the phrase thousands in them. Thousands, tens of thousands, and hundreds of thousands. Uh, as we get into very large number, we tend to group things into uh, groups of three place values. Uh, we have the ones over here. We have hundreds of ones, tens of ones, and, and ones. We have the thousands. And then the next uh, set of three place values will be in the millions. And then it goes exponentially beyond that. So that's how you're going to approach these problems. Uh, take a look at your SRBs. Um, use this video to help guide your practice, but I want you to uh, attempt the rest of the problems on this page. Oh, and lastly, where it says try this, write the number name for this number, 5,622,463. When they say number name, that's just a fancy way of saying words. So they want you to use the word form to tell me what this uh, number is. Okay? 
If you have questions, please feel free to reach out. Otherwise, we'll talk again soon. Thanks.